All right. Starting live so that we get people can join us a little bit of time. Continue on with your work there, Cindy. Hey, Facebook folks. Just getting ready for a little, little sparrow came to the bird feeder. Getting ready for our Wednesday night, 7 o'clock. Uh, music, some songs, some reflections, a Bible study. We had a good Bible study on Tuesday with friends from the St. Timothy Lutheran Church in Tarpon Springs. A Zoom. We were on Zoom. So thanks for watching on YouTube. We pray that you might subscribe to the channel. We're up to 50-some subscribers on YouTube. Hey, Melissa Chapman. We love you. Miss you guys. Hey, Elizabeth Anderson. All the way from Texas. I should could, could wave at you, but I'm just going to mention you. Yeah, give us a personal message somewhere, uh, Melissa, or if you don't mind saying you know, where you're at. You up in up up home and up north, or where are you at? Up with Linda or down here with your dad? With Linda or down here with your dad? So, yes, indeed, we've been on on YouTube and, and Facebook Live and Zoom all day today, it seems like. Cindy did her Tai Chi. Uh, there will be another Tai Chi on Friday at 10 o'clock. If you want some gentle exercise right here on our front porch, I hope. We had a thunder bumper today. We needed to, we sure needed the rain, and we got some this afternoon. Ooh, buddy. So Cindy's finishing off some reflections, and uh, hey, Steve Magnuson. Magnus Susan's there, too. Hey, Sue. Uh, we'll keep prayers going as, as we go. I pray that Steve has, uh, that those cows are, are like Elsie, you know, just uh, gentle cows. Elsie was, Elsie the cow. Elsie. Borden. Borden cows, that's it. Carol Shriver, way out there, too, in, uh, where's Carol at? Wow, Washington State? Oh, she's in Texas. Midwest. Midwest. Hey, you can type your stuff in there, too, if you want to correct us. As a matter of fact, if you have prayer thoughts, you know, jot them down. I can kind of see the screen. We're going simple tonight. We're just uh, simple into the no microphones, just live music. Cause what you hear is what you get. And we're going to uh, proceed that way tonight. Here on our, our driveway, just we're under the cover here just in case it starts raining again. I don't feel it in the air, but you never know. It could happen. So it's, it's good to see you, Carol. Let's see. Carol, and they're hairy. They're in Montana. That's we, fine. We knew that. I we knew that. that. So, I said out west. Man, that's probably the farthest away people are tuning in from. Unless somebody from California, well, Montana is way Texas, up there. Texas, oh, Texas, too. Elizabeth, not really. Right along the Gulf Coast, pretty much. Right, She's right over there in the west. Over there. Montana. Hi, my God. Let's see. West and north. Montana, way up there. Montana. That was good to see you guys. So we're playing a little music tonight. And... I am weak, but thou art strong. Come on, Jesus. Jesus, keep me from all wrong. I Satisfied as my heart as I walk, dear Lord, close to thee. Just a closer walk to thee. Cindy usually does that. <laughs> Granted, Jesus is my plea. When? Come on, Cindy. Oh boy, this verse is all about what we got going on. Tom Moran, if I falter, Lord, who cares? Hi, Cindy Moran. 
because Jesus bears my burdens. We'll sing that verse again just for kicks. You can sing this. Come on now, let it be. Just a closer walk with thee. Ready, Jesus, is my plea. Daily walking close to thee. Let it be. Cindy now. Hey Dawn, good to see you. Can't wait to hear some of the creative ways that Dawn's got her uh, act together for working out. I'll try that second verse again. Sheldon. Come on, Cindy. Keeping it a little simple tonight, Cindy found a tune called Send the Light. I'll tell you a little bit of the history behind it, maybe. And then uh, we'll sing it, and then we'll, we'll read about it. I don't know any of the history behind it. Isn't it a shape note tune or something? No. No, it's just in this, it's in this songbook of 100 hymns that I got from Willard Gil Gifford. Oh, yeah. Way back little in Valley. Little Valley, New York. New York. He's pa since passed away. Willie Gifford, he, uh, him and his wife took dulcimer lessons from us way 20 some years ago. And the sweetest man, one of the people that we've ever met. Anyways, they gave me this book. Still has his name on it. And uh, some people come into your life and they leave an impact. And they were a couple that loved us and nurtured us and cared for us and lived way up in the hills in a little valley. Yeah. Great valley, little valley. Yes. Well, anyway, send the light. That's all I know about this. Well, I know we can sing it and play it. Play it, Cindy.
there's a call comes ringing or the restless wave send the light send the light there are souls to rescue there are souls to save send the light send the light send the light that blessed gospel light let it shine from shore to shore send the light that blessed gospel light, let it shine forevermore. There's a call comes waiting for the restless wave. Send the light, send the light. There are souls to rescue, there are souls to save. Send the light, send the light, send the light. The blessed gospel light, send the light from shore to shore. Send the light, that blessed gospel light, send the light. Forevermore, oh, this the light of mine, and I'm gonna let it shine. This the light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This the light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine. Oh, shine all over cloverleaf, I'm gonna let it shine. Shine all over tanglewood, I'm gonna let it shine. Shine all over the Tampa Bay area and all the way to Montana. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Come on, Cindy. Shine on us till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Shine on us till Jesus comes, I'm gonna let it shine. Shine on us till Jesus comes, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I saw the light, I saw the light. No more sorrow, no more night. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow in sight. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Ah, you got to be careful. You don't play too much of those because sometimes YouTube will shut you down because you're playing somebody else's song. So we'll give uh, some credit to people who wrote those songs. Let's see. Uh, Traditional. Uh, and, uh, no. Uh, joyously. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Joyously. And, and I saw the light. Uh, Hank Williams. Williams. Oh, my goodness. Sure you get the right guy. Hank Williams. <laughs> Cindy, what do you got for us from Psalm 40 there? Okay. Psalm 40, verse 1. Heart of my prayer. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the pit of destruction out of the miry bog and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust, who does not turn to the proud, to those who go astray after a lie. You have multiplied, O oh Lord my God, your wondrous deeds and your thoughts toward us. None can compare with you. I will proclaim and tell of them, yet they are more than we can oh. Thanks, Renata. You play Thanks so, so much. Good to Look at that. Nice. Cakes. Yeah. <laughs> Say hi to everybody. You're on. You're on. Oh, I'll hey. oh hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Thanks, Renata. Yeah. So that. you're doing your practice for Sunday? No, we're doing, doing Wednesday night. Just here, oh, Wednesday. Bible study and yeah, uh, but, some music. Yeah. 
And Sunday you do it Sunday, again? Sunday, 9 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, good, good. I should tell my friend, you know, little Sue, what her dad passed away. Oh, you yeah, was at yeah. the church, oh, at yes. the service. Yes. Mm -hmm. If I tell her, maybe she comes yeah, here. Yeah, never come out over. Because she likes, I call her, I nice. tell her. She might come. Okay. Thanks for now. Okay? Thank you. See ya. See you later. Yeah. That was sweet. Very sweet. Let's pray. Gracious God, thank you for today. Thank you for this quiet time with the people that we love. Thank you for continued healing. Thank you for the rain today. Thank you for caring for the homeless, the hungry, and the lonely. Thank you for all your tender mercies. Thank you for loving us and pouring your unlimited, glorious love over all of us. And in Jesus' name, amen. 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 We were blessed to go to a Bible study this week on Zoom. We're learning all the technology, and we went to, to St. Timothy's Lutheran Church, well, with a group of about, I don't know, eight or nine people that gathered, and we uh, revisited a, a, a prayer technique that, that I've used in the past, and it just asks that you really might pretty much pray the scriptures, Lectio uh, Divino, or the, the word being divine, uh, it's Latin or something. But the big thing is, you read whatever passage you're going to read four times. I picked a short passage, trust me, stay, stay with me. We had an hour-long Bible study, and we used a long passage. It was from Exodus. It considered uh, Moses being with God and, and visiting with him and the glory that that entailed. Holy smokes. Oh, see what I did there? The smoke and the... <laughs> so this, uh, but this, this technique, it really works. And I, I've been using... The Beatitudes, and I worked my way through the eight Beatitudes in Matthew chapter 5. And chapter 5 continues on with a passage that's pretty familiar. So I'll just read it this first time, and, and then we'll continue on from there with, with the thoughts on it. So this is Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. You are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It's no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled by people. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before people that they may see your good deeds and praise your God in heaven. So the first time you read through, just, just read, just read. But there's more. Read it a second time and think through some of the, the context. Where was Jesus at? What were the disciples doing? What was going on around him? Who were the people being healed? And, and those kind of things. You are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? We probably can't appreciate how important salt was for preserving food keeping food fresh, uh, making it last so it would, would last. It's no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled. It did make me think of the way we use salt sometimes up north to sprinkle it over the ice to make things less slippery. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. I don't know that we all can appreciate how dark it must have been in those days. You know, no electricity, that's a given. But no candles, not maybe not so much. Maybe the wealthy, maybe the, the Romans that were down in, in the area, maybe. It was dark. It was a dark place. We've got a little oil lamp. It doesn't give much light, but it gives enough. Ooh, that, that kind of takes us to the third reading, probably. In the same way, let your light shine before men. Pretty obvious. Jesus is asking his disciples, he's asking us, to be a light. Cindy likes to say, uh, be a fountain, not a drain. Okay. It might be the other way to look at that. Be a fountain, not a drain. That they may see your good deeds, and just by seeing the good deeds that we might be able to be blessed, to be able to bless someone with, people see that, and they understand, hmm, there must be something 
something about this 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 God that that a Christian worships. So that's the second time through. And a little background: we've just come through the Beatitudes. Jesus has been teaching. He continues to teach, and there's more uh, through the rest of the fifth chapter. Now you read it the third time and see what what comes to mind. And I'm going to be asking you in a couple minutes here to jot down a little note on on the screen so we can see where some of the thoughts that come to mind about this this passage. Some of the, the things that the words that bubble to the surface, or paraphrase it if some word comes to mind, but you think that's what Jesus is talking about, say so and write it up on the screen. Type it in. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It's no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled by people. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before people, that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Cindy, prime the pump. What do you, what do you think of? Well, that very first sentence. You are the light of the earth. Period. That's kind of a compliment. It's a compliment. Mm -hmm. And it's a, uh, it's a responsibility. You know, you're, you're the salt of the earth. Period. And then later on in the passage it says, You are the light of the world. There's another compliment but it's also responsibility to shine and the salt is a seasoning. It, it, it uh, embellishes things. It makes life better. Yeah. 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 Uh, seasoning came to my mind. We need to be seasoning. We, we got to be that, that dish at the restaurant that nobody can give up. The, the onion thing at Texas Roadhouse or, or whatever it is that is so appealing, people just can't resist it. Even like salt, which we know too much of it isn't good for us. <laughs> hey, Trish. Yeah, so seasoning, uh, it's, we should be tasty. You know, life, life should be savored. There's another one that comes to my mind. Jump yeah, so in anywhere when, here, you when guys. People, when people look at you, they should see a uh, joy that we have through Jesus. That's letting our light shine. And our smiles and and our positive attitudes is, is kind of like the salt that we're spreading out there. And, and when people see that, they and they're kind of glum or they're down the dumps or they, they are really literally suffering from an illness. They need they need that. They need us to pick them up. I like it. <laughs> So the fourth time through, you let that all just percolate and settle in and wash over you, and we pray give you some peace. Matthew 5, verse 13. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It's no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine, that they may see your good deeds, and praise your Father in heaven. Yeah, each time, the more, the more you read these things, the more things pop up. I've read this hundreds of times. In the same way, let your light shine. You've got something to offer. And I know you let your light shine working in the health field I, I pray really I don't know if Trish has got to go to work and all this as an occupational therapist people still need occupational therapy but I'm not even sure if, if she's got to stay at home so we pray pray you you up you folks that are struggling with this uh, COVID thing amen. amen let's sing one more okay. no not that goofy one that one no a different one. Amen. Well, that, Steve's got an amen there for us. God sent his son. 
How sweet to hold a newborn baby and feel the pride and joy she brings, but greater still, the calm assurance this child can face on certain days because he lives, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Amen, brothers and sisters. Hey, stay safe. Uh, find something you love to do and let your light shine. Be salty. Be sassy. I know some of you are pretty sassy as I look uh, at that list of people watching. We're right here on Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. We do the same thing pretty much. <laughs> if you're not on YouTube and you wouldn't mind going over there, subscribe at YouTube. Uh, Clark Perry. Just search. It pops right up. You can do some Tai Chi with that girl. Cindy's doing some Tai Chi, some hiking and camping things. Uh, these services are posted. I'll get right over there now and post the YouTube. We can't go live on YouTube till we've got a thousand subscribers. Well, we started with 18. We got 50 some now. So yeah, you get you get there one at a time. So we just keep stepping. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks, Cindy, for calming me down. I'm starting to get wound up. Yeah. <laughs> I see what you did there. Hey, see you guys Sunday. Thanks for coming in. Love you. See you later. Love you guys. Bye.